Russia continues its blackmail, terrorizing peaceful Ukrainians with darkness and cold. Another Russian mass missile attack on Ukraine's energy infrastructure on November 23rd was followed by a temporary blackout of all Ukrainian nuclear power plants, most thermal and hydroelectric power plants of the country. Due to a decrease in the frequency of the power system of Ukraine, emergency protection worked at the Rivne, South Ukraine and Khmelnytsky nuclear power plants, as a result of which all power units were automatically turned off. They work in the project regime, without generating electricity into the power system. The radiation background at the nuclear power plant sites and nearby areas has not changed. As soon as the operation of the power system returns to normal, the supply of electricity from the nuclear power plant will be resumed. From the statement of the National Nuclear Energy Generating Company Energoatom. The Ukrainergo National Power Company warned after the attack that repairs could take about a whole day. But, for example, in Kyiv, water and electricity began to appear by evening. Power engineers immediately reminded that Ukrainians can come to the nearest points of invincibility, where there is access to electricity and the Internet. Emergency shutdowns were a forced step to avoid unbalancing the system, Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Shmihal stated. The government held an operational meeting with the heads of diplomatic missions and institutions of Ukraine, abroad with the participation of the heads of the Ministry of Energy and Ukrainergo. Power equipment should arrive in Ukraine quickly and smoothly. Denis Shmihal, Prime Minister of Ukraine, in Telegram. The European Parliament, together with the EuroCities Network, which includes more than 200 European cities, launched the Generators of Hope campaign to send power generators and electricity transformers to Ukraine. At the moment when the European Parliament recognized Russia as a sponsor of terrorism, the Russian Federation decided to mark this status with a new cynical attack, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Koleba stated. Russia celebrates its recognition as terrorist state with new missile terror against Ukraine's capital. Other cities should be clear to those who still had doubts. Russia must be recognized as terrorist state worldwide and Ukraine must get all necessary air defense systems as soon as possible. Dmitry Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on Twitter. Due to another massive shelling of Ukraine by Russia, half of the consumers in Moldova were temporary without electricity. The territory of the Russian-occupied Transnistria was also completely de-energized. Russia has left Moldova in the dark. Russia's war in Ukraine is killing people, destroying homes and energy infrastructure with missiles. But the power supply can be restored. When we fix the technical problems, there will be electricity again. We cannot trust a regime that leaves us in the dark and cold, that deliberately kills people. Maya Sandu, President of Moldova, on Facebook. U.S. President Joe Biden has directed the U.S. Department of State to provide Ukraine with additional 400 million U.S. dollars in new military assistance for security and defense. The document was published on November 23rd on the official website of the White House. Ukrainian state information agency Ukrainform reports the European Bank for Construction and Development immediately after the attack allocated 372 million euros to repair Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Yulia Bezborodko, UATV News.